Hello guys, today I want to show you a live wire experiment. We will separate one live wire component into two separate components with passing the events with parameters. So imagine a scenario that you have country, then city is automatically refreshed from United States, and then there is the third element, which is amount of companies of that city. So in the database, we have cities, six cities with fake companies belonging to some city. And this is the count that is shown on the amount of companies per city. And this is all in one live wire component. Let me show you. It's taken partly from my live wire kit, by the way. So part of the inspiration is from live wire kit, this parent child dependent dropdown, which is by the way, free, two free components out of 33 components. You may check that out. And the basis of that is mount method for countries and cities. By default, we load all, let's get it back. So all countries. And then when you change the country, updated country method, refreshes the cities and the first city becomes the active one. And then on render, on each render, there is a variable companies count calculated by city, the city. So this is how it works in a simple live wire component without any fancy stuff. And by the way, that tailwind, ignore that it's from live wire kit because every live wire kit component has tailwind and bootstrap version. So that is irrelevant for this video design template. Now let's try to move that calculation to a separate component like it would be on some kind of sidebar or top bar or whatever. So you would have first two in the drop downs, still depending on each other. And then whenever city is changed, this would be refreshed in a separate live wire component with an event. So what do we do? PHP artisan, make live wire, a new component, companies count, for example, let's call it companies count. And then in the main blade file, in this case is tailwind blade, in your case, it may be app blade. At the bottom of companies, we will duplicate that row and load companies count. Now we will move that companies blade, this one, to the company's count blade file. Here it is in live wire company's count. So we paste here and that company's count should come from a new component. So app HTTP live wire company's count. We will have the parameter of company's count, the same query. So we copy that query from here, from the main component to our new one. Company is imported by PHP storm. And then in the main component, we don't even need any parameters. So basically this component is just for country and city becomes so it doesn't know anything about the amount of companies, but it needs to fire the event to another component when the city is updated. So we copy and paste this one updated city value. We need to emit the event. So this emit event, for example, city changed with the parameter of city value like this. And then that city change event should be caught, should be listened to in that another component. So for that, in the company's count, we have a property listeners, then the event name, which is city changed. And then let's call the method city changed, city changed, which will be public function city changed and that accepts city ID, which will have this city equals city ID. And that should become a public property of this component. And let's try it all out. I hope I didn't break anything. We refresh the page, nothing really changed. So we didn't break at least the first part. We changed to United States, we changed to New York, and we change to Washington, for example, and then this happens. So it does work. It does pass the event to the company. So if we change that back to New York, this refreshes success. The only downside is if we specify the city here manually, this is not fired automatically. So we need to fire that event manually here as well. City value, which is this city like this. And let's try it one more time, refresh the page, we choose the United States, New York and companies equals to four. So this is how you can separate live wire components, one component into two, and pass some event from one component to another. If you want more examples of live wire, 
as I've shown you, you can purchase my Livewire kit for $29 for all 33 Livewire components. I will briefly show you like CRUD with models, live validation, bulk editing, multi-step form, comment, inline editing, and stuff like that. So all of that for $29 one-time fee. Check out livewirekit.com and see you guys in other videos on this channel.